I think that there is a sort of a feeling among a lot of criminal defense lawyers that officers get a free pass, or mm -hmm. at least they get viewed from a different light. And, and some of that is reasonable, given that they have a very difficult job. They do. But what is supposed to protect the officers and what is supposed to protect the citizens, because, you know, the officers always say they just want to get home, but so do the people in the cars. Yeah. Everyone does. So what's supposed to protect us are our policies and training. And if people aren't getting the right sort of training and the sort of de-escalation, and, you know, if you even look at the posture of a lot of the police officers in these situations, it's very hostile and aggressive, where, you know, it could be very easy that Mr. Barnes felt threatened. You know, it's, it's a really, it's a catch-22, and unless people are getting the right training, these kind of situations are going to keep happening. Well, and, and I'm not suggesting that all of these officers should be indicted, locked up, convicted of felonies, and put, sent away to prison. I, I'm just saying that in a lot of cases where we have this situation where an officer isn't involved, you get a criminally negligent homicide charge, and the DA's office gives you a deferred adjudication. And, you know, during that period of deferred, you're not allowed to, you, you know, you're not going to be doing what you did before. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're an individual who has a license or, you know, a T-close license or something like that, well, maybe you should take a break for a while. If, if you have one of these situations, maybe we shouldn't put you right back out on the street. Maybe there should be a period of, of some form of probationary period. I'm not saying to convict them by, by any means. I don't, I don't think that this Deputy Felix, I, I, in viewing that video, I don't think he walked up and said, I'm going to shoot this guy. I, I really do think that it was just a bad decision made in the heat of the moment. And, and, and I'm willing to, to it, it put on, putting on your criminal defense lawyer hat, that's a mitigation thing. You would argue it, but but does he need to be right back out on the street? Th that I would completely agree with. I think when you have a situation like this, and even even if he was acting perfectly within in line of the policy, it just has bad optics. It looks bad. And if your part of your mission is to protect and serve the public, you need to show lead by example. You need to show, look, we understand these concerns, and you need to be at least responsive to the perception of the community.